Before you start homeschooling algebra, you really need to make sure that your child has mastered basic math because if they don't have basic math down, they're going to have a tough time in algebra. All right, so here is a question that they should be able to solve without a calculator if they are ready for algebra. So we have 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths. Now, if you think you know the answer or your child has the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you exactly how to solve this problem in just one second. But before we get started, let me tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need assistance in homeschooling mathematics, make sure to check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description below. All right, so let's get into this problem. 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths. You definitely need to know how to do something like this if you are going to be taking algebra. So the first step in solving this problem is to translate these words into actual numeric values. And we can think about these words as either decimals or fractions or a combination of both. So we have 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths. Okay, so uh, there's a couple different ways you can approach this problem, but we have to uh, move from words into numbers. And again, you can re uh, express these numbers either as a decimal or a fraction or maybe a combination of both. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, two ways you can think of this problem, and then I'll tell you what I think is the easiest. So the first uh, word here is three tenths. So three tenths is what? Well, we need to think about place values. So an easy way to think of 3 tenths is 0.3. So if I asked you to uh, describe this number or say this number out loud, most people would say, well, this is 0.3. But a better way to say this is 3 tenths because this 3 is in the tenths place. Now, if we had something like 0.32, we would say what? Well, here is the tenths place and two is in the hundredths place. So this is 32 hundredths. And this is important because when we have decimals, we need to be able to write them as a fraction by saying them. All right, so one way we can think of this uh, word here, three tenths is as the decimal three tenths. And then we can think of uh, this word two fifths as the fraction two fifths. Now here we have a decimal and a fraction, and we really don't want to work in either a decimal, or uh, rather we don't want to work with one decimal and one fraction. We want to work with either all decimals or all fractions. So an easy way to fix this is to write this decimal 0.3 or 3 tenths, and here is a big clue, 3 tenths, as a fraction. So just like this right here, we have two, fifths, so 2 is the numerator and 5 is the denominator, we can do the same thing here and write a fraction for 3 tenths. And that fraction would look like this. So it would look like 3 tenths. Okay, so 3 tenths is the same thing as this fraction here, 3 over 10, divided by this fraction here, 2 fifths. So now we have a basic fraction division problem which your child definitely needs to know how to do to be successful in algebra. Okay, so 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths. Let's take a look at how to divide fractions. So here again is our problem. We have 3 over 10 divided by 2 fifths. So to divide fractions, what we need to do is change this problem from division to multiplication. And the way we do that is to flip the fraction to the right of the division operator. Okay, so we're going to flip this upside down and turn this into a multiplication problem. All right, so this again should be review because you have a lot of fractions in algebra. And if you don't know how to work with fractions and decimals, you're going to have a tough time in algebra. All right, so again, we have 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths. We're going to go from division to multiplication by flipping this fraction to the right of the division operator. So instead of 2 fifths, we have 5 over 2. So now we have a multiplication problem. So how do we multiply fractions? Well, this is very easy. 
all we have to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So that's going to be 3 times 5. That will be our numerator, and our denominator will be 10 times 2. Okay, so we have some opportunities here to uh, simplify, but uh, let's just go ahead and finish up the problem. So 3 times 5 is 15, and 10 times 2 is 20. So we have the problem, or we have the result of 15 over 20. That is the result of multiplying these two fractions. Okay, now at this point, you never want to leave your fractions not simplified. In other words, you want to fully reduce them down. So 15 over 20 is the same thing as 3 fourths, which is our answer, because 5 can go into 15 three times, and 5 can go into 20 four times. All right, so this is the final answer. Now, over here, if your uh, child is really good with fractions, they should be able to see that this 5 can go into this 10 twice. Okay, so instead of doing all this uh, math right here, 5 goes to the 10 too. So 2 times 2 is 4, and then we'll have our 3 left in the numerator. Okay, so again, the main idea of this video is uh, kind of like a little spot check. Make sure that your child has basic math down because if they don't have basic math down before they start algebra, I can guarantee you they're going to have a tough time. And the opposite is true. So if your child has basic math uh, skills that are really strong, okay, so what are we talking about basic math? Well, we're talking about decimals, fractions, and even positive and negative numbers, all this kind of stuff. If they have a strong foundation in things that they learn in basic mathematics, i.e. arithmetic and pre-algebra, algebra is going to go really well for them. And if the, they really didn't do too well in basic math, you might want to take a little bit more time to review uh, all these skills before you start your homeschool algebra program. Okay, now again, if you need some uh, help homeschooling algebra or another course, make sure to check out my full homeschool math program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your homeschooling adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.